Well, I can't wait to get stuck in. Can I ask, who are you? Neil Grayling. I'm the new governing governor. We both know I never killed O'Kane. Oh, and who did that? Your little tart, Purvis. This is confidential, just between us and the water cylinder. What's your view on your wing, Governor? Plead guilty to manslaughter, and 15 years might become five. Don't you want some time to yourself? No. Knickers don't interest me, Maxie. It's what goes inside them that takes my fancy. Let's have your lift. Do you have anyone lined up to replace me? Well, I haven't made a final decision, but yes, I have someone in mind. You're making it worse. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I did offer to make you breakfast at home. Well, we were late enough anyway, weren't we? And we know whose fault that was, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> that is no way to treat your future wife. You what? You're kidding me, right? Well, you two don't waste much time, do you? Gone and booked the register office, haven't you? Can't get out of it now, can I? Been buying those pinstripes wholesale, Jim. Drop the snide comments, will you? It's not my fault I got the job. Of course not. Nothing to do with you. Morning, Governor. Karen. Right, folks. Neil wants a word. This won't take long. I'd like to acknowledge your efforts over the last few weeks. We've all had to adjust, and I've been gratified by the support you've shown, Mr. Fanner. Here, here. G-Wing's finally settling down and the new lock hall's taking shape. You'll be pleased to hear that the new airlock is nearing completion. So, keep up the good work and uh, this is a treat from me for your tea break. Thanks, sir. It's very kind. Oh, we Claire's. Nice to know you're appreciated for once. Makes a change. Right, let's get on with it. I'm, uh, I'm bringing Atkins back from the block today. I think a month's long enough. A month's lenient. All the lies she told about O'Kane, wasting police time. Manslaughter, my eye. It was murder, plain and simple. Yep, I think we're going to be looking after Atkins for a very long time. Now, we've got canteen today. Barry, Mark, you'll be supervising movement. Di, Sue, Bob, locks, bolts and bars. And that's about it. Um, this isn't work-related. Well, it is in a way. You're all invited to attend a wedding three weeks on Thursday. Well, who's getting married? I am. Who to? <laughs> well, Prince Harry. Who do you think? Come on, Atkins, you're going back on the wing. Hurry up. Get dressed. You and me have got something in common. I heard that Fenn had dicked you over and all. Except you didn't see it coming. Screw dragged in. Keep moving, Purvis. Finally put your murdering hands up, did ya? Purvis. You killed our friend, miss. On you go, bitch. Glad you know you're stuffed. Mm. 
How's business? Oh, I'm up against it, sir. It's a good job these shoulders are broad. There's been a lot of flack from the girls. And I can't say my colleagues have gone out of their way to help. But I'll let the figures speak for themselves. So when can I see the paperwork? Well, I I'm doing my best. But it's the antiquated ordering system. You know what it's like in this place. Time stood still. That's about to change. Well, I must say, sir, you've made an excellent start with our new wing governor. There's an upgrade coming your way too, Sylvia. Gosh. <laughs> That's what Barry said. And is he getting a dye done? He says he's thinking about it. What happened there? Oh, tattooist. That's hold me down. Did they put your shoulder in a vice? It was agony. I was jumping out the chair. Well, I hope it's all worth it. Tattoos for life. And so's Barry. And you know that already? After only a month? What are you doing? Showing me her secret. Tattoo. She'll think you're as daft as I do, then. All right, well... Let's get these upstairs. Or I forget. I understand congratulations are in order. Yeah. Must have been love at first sight, then. You gonna clear these mugs up? You lot think she's a soft touch, don't you? Miss Barker? You won't. When she's Mrs. Pierce. What's this rubbish? Shampoo. For blonde or highlighted hair. Do I look blonde, miss? Shampoo, shampoo. Now move. You heard. Move your arse. Evil car. This is Hollenby. Yes. There's a package from Mary. There's a bloke here, a big one for you, miss. <laughs> <laughs> where do you want it? I can tell you where to shove it. <laughs> Quiet! What is it? I've ordered nothing from Mary. It's a computer. Computer? What the fig am I supposed to do with that? Home sweet home, eh? Piss off, Fenner. You want to watch it, Atkins? You're talking to the wing governor. Been kissing ass again, have we? Well, you shoved it bets up the hard way, ain't you? You dried up old tar. You think you can get away with murder? Well, your life's going to be a bloody misery from now on. I'm going to make sure of it. I'm over this. Here, do these and all. I ain't doing yours. Oh, no. Well? She was only having a laugh, wasn't she, Crystal? She's having a baby, for Christ's sake. I was a bit daft, sir. Can't help it. Got her hormones mixed up, in it. <laughs> You've got too much to say for yourself, Purvis. Problem? Yeah. These two. Back to work, both of you. That means you, Purvis. She's got an attitude, that one. I think she's running the place. Maybe we need to remind her who's boss. Purvis, my office, now. Purvis? You heard? <laughs> 